Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends, and as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Look what's arrived. Get in! I have two massive thank yous um, for this kit. Number one is from my good fr friend Berry. Um, he, pr I pre-ordered this with him. Um, I only paid for this about, what was it? I think five, six days ago. Um, and I received the tracking and within three days from China it was here. Unbelievable. So Barry, if you're watching, just thank you so much, my friend. I hope the Hotshot 2 comes as quickly. And the next thank you is to Tamiya. I am over the moon. I finally have, or Tamiya have finally re-released the Super Saber. Tamiya, thank you. So, this video is kind of going to go all over, but it's just me, self-indulgence, memories from back in the day. We're gonna we're gonna do a lot of stuff in this video, but I'll try keep it as to uh, as quick as I can. But you know what, me, I just rub it on. Um, so the next bit is. This has got such a special place in my heart. And that's because it's been well documented by me on this channel that my first ever kit I ever built was a Tamiya Thundershot. But it actually could have been the Super Saber back in the day. It was between those two kits. But we'll go into that in more detail later in the video. But now I think it's important to look at the family this car de derived from. So I will, I don't have the full family, I'm one car short, but that has, that is coming um, early next year. But I think it's important just to go through the actual family of cars. So it's known as the Hot Shot family. Um, so what I did was I, there's six cars in total in the Hot Shot family. So obviously when you say Hot Shot family, you think of the three main Hot Shots. But um, anyway, I'll just go through the list because I put it in the correct dates because I was curious with the six cars. I mean, it, it was it was only over a three-year period, well, probably two and a half years, and I was curious what, well, I knew what the first one was, but where the others sort of fitted in. So the very first car being the Hot Shot, which was April 1985, and then followed by the Super Shot, which was March 86. And then it was a Boomerang in April 86, and then it was a Big Wig, in July 86. That little period of time there is incredible. Super Shot Boomerang, Big Wig, all in 1986. I was going to say, it's basically the same chassis, but have, they all have differences. Big Wig has more differences because it uses the Big Wigs in the, in the Hot Shot family because it's the same gearboxes, but obviously the Big Wig's different, but we'll talk about the Big Wig as we go on. Um, then in the Hot Shot 2 was May 1987, and then the last one, which is a Super Saber, was October 1987. What a period of time that was! And obviously, there were Tammy had other cars coming out, and then you had on the other manufacturers, and hence why I've always called it the golden era of RC. And right now, it feels like we're in the golden era of RC 2.0, doesn't it? All these cars from different manufacturers coming out, and I still can't afford them. It's just like back in the day. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that was the full family. So why this car is so important to me is, it's been well documented by me that the, the Thundershot was my first ever Tamiya build that I did. Um, but it was so close to being the Super Saber back in the day. So as I said earlier, October 87, the Super Saber, the Thundershot was November 87. So it wasn't a great deal behind them. Now... At the time, from my memory, um, this hadn't been announced. The Thundershot wasn't out yet, but obviously the Super Saber had. I was looking at the time, at probably not the Hot Shot, but maybe the Super Shot. Um, don't think I could afford the Big Wig. That's probably the one I would have got if I could afford it. But if you think a Big Wig needed, or you didn't need, but it was better with the 8.4 Gold Power Nikad, and it came with a Technigold motor, so it was a it just awesome thing. But I don't think I could afford it. Anyway, the boomerang had been out. What time when did the boomerang come out? That was April 86. So the boomerang had been out like a year or something. And then the Super Saber came out. And I just remember seeing these in the magazines. Now you gotta remember back in the day we didn't have the luxury of the internet where this information and videos and everything was just boom, it was there. This was from magazines or actually having to go to a, a model shop. Um for me, it will have been the magazines, Radio Race Car, something like that. And obviously, the Tamiya put the pictures out of the new Super Saber, and I'm blown away because 
it was it was nothing like the big wig for me, although they're almost identical apart from bodies and stuff, but um and, and colours of certain plastics, but basically the same car, but just this futuristic body. And that's the one I'd actually decided on. So I was getting the Super Saver 100%. I'd probably ran the cost of it p through my parents, by my parents, for the, for the Christmas present. But then, lo and behold, as I said, Super Shot, November 87. So it was getting closer to Christmas. And that was the dilemma. Because I'd, I'd had my heart set on this. And then this came out. Now, this was all new. And, and that's a bit... Looks-wise... Now, using hindsight, I do prefer the Thunder Shot, but at the time, I remember when this came out and this futuristic looking thing just absolutely blew me away. I'm going to stop the video now and I'm just going to play you like 25 seconds of each, a clip of each promo video because I think they're well worth watching. Low profile, oval block pattern tires that really dig in. Equipped with large capacity oil filled damper units. Two at the rear and one at the front to provide real road-hugging excitement. Watch the Super Saber's all-new wedge-shaped aerodynamic body slice effortlessly through the air. Everything is new from the ground up. Chassis, suspension system, gearboxes, and styling. The number of parts have been kept to an absolute minimum for weight savings and faster construction. The newly designed bathtub frame and chassis are made from a lightweight engineering plastic that is fitted with double wishbone independent suspension all around. This provides an incredible 35 millimeter ground clearance for each real terrain gliding smoothness. Those videos are just superb. Just type in, if you want to see the full ones, um, well, just type in Tammy and name your car promo video and someone will, will have had the, the original videos up. Obviously, the grainy as hell and the sound quality is not great, but oh my God, what a childhood well spent if you know what those videos are all about. Um, so yes, the Super Sabre lost out, the Thundershot won. Um, and then over the years... Um, Obviously, if you think about it, like, what well, did I? Sorry for keep repeating the years, but the Super Sabre was eighty-seven. So ten years go past or whatever, they'd no longer sell this kit. The obviously any new in boxes would have been quite expensive. You could probably get quite easily get battered ones, and I actually did over the years. I'll put these little pictures up. Um, I think there's two or three Super Sabres I've had over the years. Um, and I think on every one, the body, the original body was damaged, so I had to go reproduction body, um, which was never quite as good because the reproduction, the companies that do the reproduction, it's actually a two-piece body, so you've got your main shell and then there's a, like a rear wing underneath wing. Now, on the Tamiya kit, it comes with two pieces that you bolt on. The guys who were doing the reproductions, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they couldn't do that moulding. So the back end was never quite right if you went down the reproduction um, mode. And that's just one of the reasons why it's so cool. And I'm saying a big thank you to Tamiya. Because a lot of people who are who are coming into this hobby, especially the vintage side of the, the Tamiya hobby, and, and you're quite new to it, I don't know, I'm pulling years out my ass, but just say in the last six, seven years, you won't know the pain. Because Tamiya have been re doing re-releases since... 2000 i believe again correct me if i'm wrong and i want to say the dynastorm was the first one the first ever re reap from tamia i think it was a dynastorm if it wasn't a dynastorm it was the mili mili the military vehicle the xr311 it was definitely one of those two i am leaning towards a dynastorm i know i've done video on that before but anyway but and then from 2000, for all these other ones that they've done so far to come out, it's obviously taken 23 years and we're still going. So the people who are newer to the hobby have no idea how hard it was to get bits before the re-releases came out. I'll use the Avanti and the Egress as a, uh, the best examples I can think of from my own personal memories. Those cars... <laughs> If you found a, if you found an Avanti or an Egress, you were paying top top dollar, especially if it was a mint one. I mean, ridiculous money for I don't know. We're going back fifteen. We're going back to 
before 2000. I don't know actual times, but I'd probably from very late 90s to 2015, maybe. Um, don't go by my years, because I can't remember when the event came out. I think that was 2013, wasn't it, on the the first batch of the re-releases. Anyway, before that, you you just couldn't get bits for them. Uh, and, I, and I think a lot of people now are actually in the hobby who are newer to it. You're absolutely spoiled and you have no idea just how bad it was. Um, I think if you've got a lot more experience in the hobby that goes back over the years, you'll you'll appreciate what I'm talking about. But now, there's not many things you can't get hold of. Um, now, granted, if you're a purist, original versus re-release parts, they don't match if you're a purist. They do to me, I don't care. So, but I'm I'm just saying it's just things are so much easier now. But the reason I'm waffling on is is because now people with original Super Sabers can finally now get a brand new a Tamiya Super Saber body set. To now this particular one, and we'll go into in in a bit, is pre cut and pre painted. Now I'm, I'm I would. I can see both sides of the argument, but when you go in box art, this is a win-win for me. I, I, I hate cutting out and painting bodies, especially now it's winter. So to, if you're not going box art, I understand that's a problem because you have to buy a second body set and you're unpainted. But this and the Hotshot 2 that's coming in February, that's pre-cut and painted as well. So just, again, 100% box art. So that's perfect for me. I just think it's a good time. It just You know, the, the red plastics are now here. I actually thought the Hot Shot 2 would have been the first because they'd done the Hot Shot and the Super Shot. Um, I kind of expected Tamiya always to bring the Hot Shot 2 out. Um, the, the Hot Shot 2, the Super Saber and the uh, Mud Blaster Monster Truck, that's the three I've been wanting to see for a couple of years and I've been sort of beating the drum. And two out of those three are now almost with us, which is just fantastic. So, yeah, I think if Tamiya do the Mud Blaster, I'm happy for now. There'll be something else though, won't there? Right, so 36 years on, I now have a brand new Super Saber. It doesn't have the blister packaging like the Super Saber did. Now, it wasn't a Vanity or Egress level, but it, some of it was in blister packs. This is just kind of thrown in, but again, pre-cut, pre-painted body, shirt, body set, which is just awesome. A massive part of this is just this having this box... I'm not building this any time. I'll say I'm building it over winter, but it's not on the to-do list now because I say it's just arrived. But the... Oh, my God, the smile on my face when I took it out of its main box and I just saw this. And I was, I, when I was driving home from work, I was just hoping, like, I hope the outer box is not damaged because every now and again, you know, it'll have a little dent in it and it'll be creases. There's a tiny crease on one of the sides, but it's nothing. But I just... I would I, I just pulled it out and I was just looking at it and it was just like so, so cool. Very happy with this one. It was the same with the Thundershot. Is it, I, I love all Tamiya box art, as you know. But to see this one for the first time, you know, and again, it's 23 years since Tamiya have been doing the re-releases. And it's taken 23 years for them to get round to the Super Saber. It's kind of a big deal. And if it's and if the Super Saber's got a place in your heart, it's a very big deal, if you know what I mean. Anyway... What I'll do now is I'll bring a camera over and we'll have a quick look at the kit and we'll have a look at that body. And I want to check the decals out as well because obviously the old sponsorship decals I'm sure will have changed, although there's not a great deal on this car. But um, yeah, let's have a look at the box art first. Look at that, my friends. Look at it! Harry, what's it? Harry, hurry up, the driver. I was, there's actually, well, I can only see actually two um, sponsorship decals on it. Um, the Space Tech Engineering decal here comes on the black stripe um that's interesting there's uh that must be one of the fewest tamiya cars with with the d with the, the minimum um sponsorship decals on it that's crazy i always thought there was more than that anyway not that that matters oh my goodness that box art is incredible and Sorry, I'm, ju I'm just doing this at first. I'm saying this at first. I was just looking at this little thing here. So obviously the original came with the mechanical speed controller and the ceramic wrister and heat uh, metal heat shrink would have been popping through here for cooling. Um, now, if the thunder shot, obviously the thunder shot was exactly the same, and then when when you 2005 or maybe 2007 they reread the thunder shot, then the new one obviously was for electronic speed controller, and on the thunder shot they increased the body, or you didn't cut it out. 
vice versa I can't remember which one it was but just on this picture it's kind of got like a little something resembling the resistor although it's not quite so I'll be curious when we open it up just to see if uh, being if you've got an original chassis um, I know what I mean I hope I'm making sense um, I'm rushing this video because I said it only come yesterday so apologies but um, anyway let's get the lid off right so as you can see uh, present as present tense oh my goodness me Pre i'm right i'm just this tech this takes an hour i'm gonna say this word presentation wise did it um it's just kind of normal timing now but um boom that's a bit that hits me is the the shell oh it's fell hang on just pull that off it's tip so that's the two piece i was telling you about so obviously your main wing that's molded in uh, and then this under section there bolts down underneath here so it gives you from the rear it kind of puts this end so it's got like a double wing looks really cool looking at the cutout for the resistor i think the resistor would have been roughly there so if you have got an original it'd be very straightforward to cut that out um, and pop your resistor through pre-cut and pre-painted absolutely class love it just because i'm getting old and i'm absolutely lazy so for this to be done is just class oh the red plastics that's what we've been waiting for from tamia nothing special about the plastics they go on other cars but just not in red and obviously this has red cvas with it as well um let's see um like dust protector that you can put on the chassis just want to find the decals now there's not much to the decals and uh, uh it's all gone to crap there let's get rid of that one slide it down yep god these used to originals used to sell for like 40 50 quid you can get reproductions of them I used to do that as well. I used to be banging to putting reproduction decals of the originals on the re-reads, but I kind of seem to have lost interest in that now. Um, very, very cool indeed. Again, everything else you know, um, and I will be building this at some point, but now I want to dig the family out and show you what I've got. So I've dug the cars out that I have. So as I said, the six in the family... Uh, of which I have four built, one to build, but the sixth one obviously is a Hot Shot 2, um, and I believe that's end of January, early February at the moment in 2024. So I will have that full family, and I, from I can't think of a yeah, this is definitely Tamiya in in the in the timeline of Tamiya. This is the biggest sort of family of cars that they've ever done. Hey, sorry to interrupt this video. But I'd already made the video that hopefully you're going to continue watching. Um, and I'd not put it together. Um, and I just, because I do everything on my phone, I just turn Wi-Fi back on. And um, I just, I was talking to my friend Martin in the UK. Um, now, he sent me a parcel. Um, oh, I've been sat on it for about a week, maybe longer. And he just said, open it up on video. It's, I think it's something you like and it's cool. Um, so I said, fantastic. Um, I've got a few other things coming from various people. And I just said, look, I'll open it all together. I'll make that kind of one video, just opening three or four parcels. And he was like, cool. Anyway, I'd, so I just sent him a picture of the Super Saber. And he was like, you need to open that parcel now. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, okay, I've not put the video together. So um, if, you do, if you don't know Martin, um, I've known Martin for, for years. Um, He's got his own YouTube channel now, Martin H's RC, so I'm sure a lot of you regulars will know Martin. Doing tons of um, revival footage at the moment, really good stuff. Um, and I'll put a link to his channel as well in the video description. But um, yeah, so I've no idea what this is, but let's open it. I have just done the tape to try to keep the noise down. So, I don't know what this is. Oh. What do we got here? I don't know what this is. I've just seen a little bit of yellow. Do you know what it is? Definitely from back in the day. 
got a letter as well. Oh, you can smell the age on it. You can smell the bag. It's a beaded bag. They all smell the same. It's awesome. Oh my god, and I, obviously I don't have one of these. Oh, it's got the thunder shot on it. This is, sorry, probably not the best video. So there's a cap, cardboard insert, but I'll make one because you can, right, sorry, let me just see if I can close this up and I'll get it shaped for you. Not the best video, I know, my friends, but uh, so cool to have this. These go for good money now. Martin, thank you so much. Oh, I hope this noise is not disturbing. So, Beatties, I hope this is in camera. So, Beatties model shop from back in the day, which were all over. Nearest one to me was Leeds. Bradford didn't have one. Um, you can buy these bags. I don't know if you ever give them away. Um, right, sorry if that's been noisy. I hope this is in camera. So cool. Thank you, Martin. I don't know if this is just... I don't know what this is. I hope it's money. Oops. Oh, that's cool. What's that? Um, dear Glenn, hopefully you don't already have one of these. I found a couple of them whilst clearing out my dad's garage. I immediately thought to myself, I know a man who will really appreciate one. I have sent you a Thundershot version, as you know, that was your first new Tamiya. Perfect for this video, I'm glad I messaged you. Um, now you'll have something to transport your cars to the Tamiya Legends Arena. Hint, hint, I miss the arena. Yeah, I do too. Although I did go to the Tamiya Legends Arena not l that long ago, probably two months ago, and it was a stare. It doesn't look like there's been any bikes on it. Big bricks everywhere. I could use it and grass was growing. It was a, it was a mess. Um, thanks for all your videos over the years and helping me out too, kind regards Martin. P.S. It's supposed to have a cardboard insert to form the base, but this was missing. I'm sure you can make one. I've covered that, Martin. <laughs> he sent me this cool thing. I didn't know he'd, he'd had these made. Little um, Martin's HRC. I don't know if you can see that, like a little... I don't know if it's a sticker or whatever. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't know you'd done them, Martin. That's awesome. And thank you. Um... I don't know if any of this is in camera, so apologies if it's not. But, um, yeah, very cool. I'll quickly go put it in position, and then I'll put you back to the normal video. There you go. In position. Perfect. I had a TRF201 box up there. So, um, yeah, with a Tammy hat on top. That's, that's class. Love that. Right in front of me where I'm going to be staring at it. Super cool, Martin. Thank you so much. I'm not taking into account metallic editions or blockhead editions. Not none of that rubbish. I'm just talking about the sort of genuine um, cars, as it were. I can't think of anything that's even remotely close to it. To have six cars that is classed as a family, not even close. I can think of lots of twos. There's a couple of threes, or there's one three I can think of. Um, in fact, there's not no. Anyway, that's a good question in the in the comment section. If you think, if there's something you're screaming at the, the this video now, going, what about the so and so family? Put it in the comments. Um, yeah, so I have, and these are all re -rees. So obviously we have a hot shot with the gold wheels, which is a must. Stunning boomerang, Mwah. beautiful super shot, which is actually the super hot shot because it's that's what we called it as a re re and then the big wig which is just one of my all-time favorites now for me personally t looking at the hot shot family first of all looking at the three hot shots the original hot shot the super shot and then the hot shot two my favorite by a million miles is the super shot it's just incredible it's just mean it's aggressive looking it just ticks all the boxes for my personal taste. Hot shot's stunning as well, don't get me wrong, but you put them together and the, the super shot's on steroids and it's been it's been working out for 10 years. Just love it. Now, given the, the hot shot family, um, you're probably expecting me to go, well, the super saver's my favourite. It's actually not the big wig. The big wig is, I mean, my list my top five top three changes 
maybe not the top three, but I would go as far as to say the big wig it will never, ever drop out of my top three Tamiyas of all time. And the other one's the Avante that will never drop out. I, I, I may, the third spot might alter down again, but Avante and big wig. And the big wig is just pure Tamiya. If I got if I got abducted by aliens and they were quizzing me on what what why do I do this what is all this about and I was trying to explain why I'm regurgitating the past because that's what I do isn't it um, and the aliens gave me one option to to go back down to Earth get a car this is a terrible analogy I know. Um, but I could go down, pick one car, take it back to the mothership, and say, like, this is kind of Tamiya. Out of everything I've got, the big wig would be the car, because it, uh, it's got haters, the big wig, which blows me away. Um, and I'm, I get it, that's your opinion. But it's just, I, I, I've said this many times, when the big wig came out in oh, 2016, maybe, Again, it was I was super pumped because it's just like the Super Saber. We've been waiting for parts and genuine bodies and bits for the bodies and what have you. Um, and then everyone, or a lot of people were buying it back then and there was a lot of people just like, can't stand that car, it looks like a toy. And I'm just like, that's that's Tamiya for me. I look at the big wig and that just, that's just 80s Tamiya at, at its very finest. Um. I can't tell you how much I love the big wig. Um, and it's way more than most of the other Tamiyas. It's just incredible. And I'm not turning this video into a big wig video, although it sounds like I am. But um, yeah, the, the big wig out of the hotshot family, the big wig is right up there. Out of the three hotshots, super shot wins again by a country mile. Hot, original hotshots, mint. Hot shot to for me, sorry guys and girls, it's just a nice to have. It's just to finish a collection because I don't think it, it looks great, don't get me wrong. It's black, it's got new decals, slightly different wing. Um Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just a nice to have. It, when it turns up, I'll be I'll be I'll be excited to look at the box art because the box art's silver. Sorry, not the box art, the box is silver instead of white, just like the original. That's a nice touch from Tamiya. Um, but for me personally, yeah, it is just to get in the collection to finish that family off, which is, I guess, quite a, a reason, I guess, a lot of you are doing it who have the family at this stage already, if you've been waiting for a hot shot too, that is. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, apologies if this video s seemed rushed. I mean, you're watching it Saturday morning. The The kit landed with me Thursday evening. I get home from work, it's there, so I'm looking at it, and then... I'm recording this Friday morning and I've got to put it all together and then I've got to upload it and all that but of BS that goes with YouTube videos and get it ready so you can watch it. Obviously you have. Obviously I did that because you're watching it now, aren't you? Sorry, a little bit all over the place, but very, very cool. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'll be curious. I like these nostalgic videos that I do because I talk about, well, I've talked about in this video why the Super Saber is a special place in my heart but a lot of you will put your own version of what your special cars are in the comments and i love that and again this is not a youtube thing and a lots of youtube to play the youtube game you ask people to comment like and all that i'm not doing it for that if you if you can't be bothered that's fine but there's a lot of you out there who watch my rubbish my dribble and you're just like me and I, I read your comments and you talk about your cars and stuff and i get a real buzz from it i might not always reply but um yeah i do get a real buzz for it because the nostalgia and the memories are everything for me within this hobby more so than the, this the collection i've got it's just <laughs> It's the moments like opening the big box up and pulling this out yesterday and seeing that mint box out. It's it's the moments when I was just digging these cars. Because once cars are in the collection like mine, you don't focus, it's just boom, it's just a collection. You don't really focus in on individual cars, especially ones you built age years ago. But when I was pulling these out and obviously I'm looking at I'm like, it's just, it's that smile. That, I'm looking at Big Wig now and it, it just... It's just so cool. It, it really is. Most of you who watch my dribble will understand where I'm coming from. If you're new to this channel, you're going to think I'm a raving fool. And, and that's fine as well. 
But um, yeah, memories, nostalgia, that's what it's all about. So anyway, yeah, apologies this wasn't the video that was planned. I'll put that out next week. But I just wanted to take the opportunity with this landing to get this done. Um, and you will see all this again because obviously the Hotshot Tour will come. I probably won't do a video when that arrives. But over the winter in the next three, four months, we'll be building Super Saber and Hotshot 2. And obviously, once the last one's built, then we need to dig them all out and we'll have all six cars together. And that's going to be quite a photo shoot for me. Anyway, my friends, as always, Barry, if you're watching, a massive thank you, my friend. Tamia, if you're watching. <laughs> if Tammy watch. Some people, when. They'll... Sorry, I'm going off a little bit, but some people kind of think that, like, Tamiya watched me. And, like, I've had a few comments when the Super Saber was like, well done, Glenn, you got that. Uh, I really didn't. And then, obviously, it's not just me who says these things. But I have to, I have to laugh. Tamiya do her own thing. But, Tamiya, if someone on behalf of you is watching, I just want to say a massive thank you. I'm pretty sure you've, nev you've not reread something and have been left on the shelf. VQS and Top Force Evo, not so much the Top Force Evo, but a little bit on the expensive side, VQS way too expensive, so just learn by your mistakes, bring the prices down a little bit, but reread everything, Mud Blaster for me next, and get, stick that in the comments as well, What what's, you, what's the one reread you're waiting for, because this video's going out now, I would imagine, I've seen on the forums, there's a lot of 50 Porsche, 50th anniversary, Tamiya Porsche, 50th anniversary, and people are wondering if the 959 will come back out. I don't know, don't know, maybe. But, point being for this segment is, everything is going to come. You, I know a lot of people scream out for Falcon, Mudblaster Me, and, and whatever else floats you, but I think it's all going to come eventually, King Cab, Monster Racer. But it just takes time. If you think about it, it's, we're 23 years into the re-releases. 23 years. Almost half my life. Just under half my life. So, who knows what the next 5, 10 years will bring for, from Tamiya. You know, it, these are kind of going to die with us. So, it's not so much now or never, but they need to get a move on. And, you know, your madcaps. And I, there's so many that still haven't come out, but... For me, it's, uh, sorry to repeat me, Mud Blaster. That's the only one I'm really waiting for now. I can't think of another, and there will be, I'm sure, but I can't really think of another. But I do want to see the early ones from the first 100, the Lamborghinis and stuff on the metal um, chassis. I'd love them to bring those back out. Um, and again, if you're a collector and you've got the originals, or you've only got the originals, uh, depreciation, uh, re-raise, it just doesn't work like that. I've, uh, that's been proven now over the last two decades. Everyone, a lot of people have kicked off, oh, that's my original, not worth anything. It's absolute horse poo. Your original's worth just as much as it ever was. Someone who wants an original will pay for an original. It, the reread doesn't matter. So, I, and again, I only allude to that because if he did bring a Lambo out again or a, a couple of the older cars or Porsches, you know, do it, Tammy, do it, and keep us all men happy. I am going to shut up now. I, again, apologize. if I seem a bit all over the place, I do apologise, but I've kind of had to wing this and rush it. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Massively appreciated. And uh, stay tuned for next Saturday's video. I won't tell you what it is, but I've been sent something to finish, something that the, the same person had already sent me, and now it's complete. And it was from the 1988 Tamiya guidebook, and it was in the back. It's a little bit of a giveaway to what it was. It's something you made yourself, which you've already seen on this channel. The Now the gentleman has sent me the second bit of it, to complete that car. I'm looking at it. You're not. You have to tune in next Saturday. It's awesome. Right, that's me done. Happy ass seeing. Mm -hmm.